Hello, this is Math 2115 coming to you from the College of DuPage during the fall of 2020. And this is the conclusion of the lecture entitled Arguments and Rules of Inference. When we adjourned, I had left you with this problem. Hope you worked it, uh, but uh, if not, um, we can do it again. Um, you know what to do. Let's see how you did. Problem seven was valid. Problem eight was invalid. And these are the oh, um, symbolic representations of the statements that are there. Now let's uh, go through one of these. And I'm choosing this one because we really have not talked about an invalid argument yet. So let's do that now. So um, we have to build the truth table. And notice that we have P, R, Q, and S. That means we have four propositions. And that means this can be two states of nature, two states of nature, two states of nature, and two states of nature independently. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the fourth. So um, what we're going to do, and then we also form these statements uh, so that we can cross things out. And we're going to force what is above the line to be true and see if we're forcing what is below the line to be true. So we uh, cross all these things out and notice that when I look at S, that S can be true or false, meaning that this is not a valid argument. Um, sometimes this is, uh, and we call this division into cases, um, is another uh, argument form that is valid. If P or Q is true, and P implies R, and Q implies R, then well, I have to have R. And you can actually argue through that with words. If P or Q is true, one of them has to be true. So either this one is true or this one is uh, true. Actually, all of these are true. But since this one is true, either P or Q has to be true. And that means that R has to be true because of the implications. Uh, here's a more complex deduction for you to do. You know what to do. Let's see how you did. And we have to define uh, some things to do the logic. So these are the definitions that we have. Uh, I was reading my class notes at the kitchen. My glasses are on the kitchen table. I saw my glasses at breakfast. I was reading my class notes in the living room, and my glasses are on the coffee table. So anyway, we start. So by statement A, which was here, if I was reading my glasses, then they're on the kitchen table, that's this. And then by B, if my glasses are on the kitchen table, then I saw them at breakfast. So by the hypothetical syllogism or transitivity, the first implies the second, the second implies the third, then the first implies the third. So this has to be true. Then by uh, that conclusion, I know that RK implies SB. But C says, I did not see my glasses at breakfast, so that is the negation of that. That should have been the little bar symbol. Um, and so you see by modus tollens, I have the first implies the second, not the second, therefore not the first. Okay, then D, uh, either you were reading your class notes in the living room or class notes in the kitchen, so it's RL or RK. But we know it's not RK uh, by the conclusion of 2 up here, so that means that it is RL. And that's the elimination rule. So. Uh, or the, the one thing that we just talked about, actually. Um, so now RL implies CG, that was C. I did not see my glasses 
at uh, oh by e excuse me uh, I did not uh, my glasses okay so that is RL that's by e and so that mean and I know that RL is true by the conclusion of three so that means this is modus poens so therefore the glasses are on the coffee table now this is more much more complicated and this is a similar to the proofs that we're going to be doing later so do pay attention to this and realize there will be a lot of this kind of thing in the course now in the same way that there were modus poens, modus tollens, uh, hypothetical syllogism that were valid argument forms, there also are some classical invalid argument forms. Uh, one of them is called the fallacy of the converse. That is, if P, then Q, Q, therefore P. This is the, also called the fallacy of affirming the consequent. And recall that if Q, then P is the converse of if P, then Q. Another fallacy is the fallacy of the inverse, and this is also called the fallacy of denying the antecedent, and this is if P, then Q, not P, therefore not Q. And recall that if not Q, excuse me, if not P, then not Q is the inverse of if P, then Q. Let's look at the proofs of these, and we're showing that they're not valid arguments. So let's look at the fallacy of the converse, which is here. So I build a truth table with my component parts, and then everything above the line I force to be true. So I cross out this one, and I cross out this one, and you see that that does not force P to be true. So that is a fallacy. Let's look at this one. So this is if P, then Q, not P, then not Q. So what I do is I build my truth table, and I uh, make every, force everything above the line to be true. That is crossing out where it's false. And when I, uh, when I do that, uh, what will happen is uh, that I will get... Um, Let's see, uh, not Q, so on not Q, you see not Q could be false or true, so it's not valid, that means it's invalid, that means this is a fallacy. Now those fallacies uh, actually uh, sometimes happen. This was an article that was published in 2017 and talked about how a total solar eclipse helped prove, uh, and that's a loaded word, Einstein's right that Einstein is correct about uh, relativity. Well, and here was the argument that was presented in the paper. If Einstein was correct in his relativity theory, then light from the stars would be bent. Light was observed to bent, be bent, therefore Einstein was correct. Well, you see, this is if P, then Q, Q, therefore P. So you see, this is not mathematically correct. Now, this did not prove mathematically Einstein's theory, uh, but it does empirically support it, and it certainly could have disproven it. So my note here is that mathematics is a science, but not all science is logically mathematical. In closing, now more than ever, Time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. And now, more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. God bless you all.